Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and on today's devotional from this awesome book called Go For It by Melissa Horvath, we are on number 53 and the topic is the easy way and it really flows great from yesterday's 52, which was ducks in a row. So if you missed that, and you want to watch it, just let me know and I will get you a direct link. Anyways, as you're hopping on, say hello, let me know where you're watching from, feel free to sprinkle, all that good stuff. And um, let me say a quick prayer and then we will hop right in. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day and thank you, Lord, for this devotion. I just pray, Lord, that you will give me the words uh, to say to convey the ideas that you would like me to send out there. Um, Lord, help us to listen to those nudges that you give us and to do what you're asking us to do rather than stay in our comfort zones because we miss out on your blessings when we don't follow what you have for us and we're afraid and just stay in our own little comfort zone. So help us with that. And I just pray that you'll be with me, that you will give me the words to say. And I pray all this in the precious name of Jesus Christ, amen. Okie dokie. Well, like I say every week, this is another good one. And um, it's called The Easy Way, and I'm just gonna start reading, okay. Everyone who goes on ahead and does not abide in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever abides in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. And what I will tell you uh, about that verse is that, I mean, everything she's saying here is, is awesome. But I'm not sure how this Bible verse ties into the thoughts that are expressed in this day. I don't know. If you can figure that out, please tell me. Okay, so this is what she says. Some of us prefer to take the easy, well-known path. Others are more on the wild side and choose the path less traveled. One person may like each day to follow the same routine, while another tries to make each day different. We often associate living the easy way of life with staying in our comfort zone. It's predictable with less worry. Even in those times when we're called to change, we stay right in our little bubble. Have you ever uh, felt that way? That you're being called to do something, but you're just gonna stay in, the, in your little bubble zone. Brenda, I will be thinking about you today and praying for you and my other friends in Florida as well. Um, they, if you're watching this later, they are expecting, I think the hurricane's name is Idela, Idelia, uh, a hurricane to hit land today, which is very scary. Okay, but what if we did something new, something different? What if we got out of our comfort zones? There are those of us who have wanted to pursue something different for years, but we're scared of what others would think about it. Others hesitate to make changes because they think they don't have it in them to do it. And then I underline this part. She says, I love seeing the videos on social media of women who decide to renovate a part of their house themselves, defying the stereotype that accompany women and that type of work. Don't you love that too? I really do. It's something these women always say that they broke out of their comfort comfort zone and tried something new, something they could be proud of, and they found an untapped talent that they developed along the way. Isn't that interesting? God gives us our gifts and talents uh, for a reason, and we may completely miss out on the blessings for others and for ourselves if we never get out of our comfort zone to explore some of them. So, I'm so sorry, I was just getting a call from my sister. Sometimes God gives us those little nudges, but we tell him no. 
We make up excuses as to why we shouldn't do what he's calling us to do, and we miss out on all the amazing and beautiful new plans he has thought up for us. Instead, we could go where our hearts are leading and listen for that guidance. What if we quit talking ourselves out of what he has in store for us and get out of our comfort zones and go for it? I mean, if we would do that, then we could seriously, boldly live the life that God has created uniquely for each one of us. And um, maybe there are certain areas of your life where you're resisting and other areas of your life where you're following those nudges that the Lord is giving you. Uh, I think that's kind of how it is for me. Anyways, in the go for it, she says, do you ever think that you have a secret talent that's untapped that God has given you? If you stay in your comfort zone, you may never know what that could be. Maybe you're afraid to do something alone, but you may be missing out on something wonderful that you may love. When you step out of your bubble, don't be afraid of failure. It could happen, but what if you never tried? Where in your everyday life can you take a step further or in a little different direction? Are you being called to do something, but you're too scared to do it? If you're getting that gut feeling to go in that direction, then move. God will direct your path. Don't be afraid of what good can come when you step out and try something new. So I thought that was excellent advice. And really, we just, God has a good plan for each one of us. And we need to be ready to move in the direction that he's, you know, nudging us to go. So let me pray. And um, then I will, let's see. I will be doing number 54 on Thursday, which is living in the sunshine. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Lord, thank you for those nudges that you give us and the blessings that you'll give us if we'll just move in the direction you want us to go. Thank you, Lord, for the secret talents and abilities and interests that each one of us have. Um, we are each one of us created in your image. And Lord, I just thank you and praise you for that. And I pray that we can all move a little bit outside of our bubbles so that we can experience everything that you have given for us and to us. And uh, I just pray all of this in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, I don't have my glasses on. Thought I still did. Okay, so I'm going to put in the comments here a link for this book in case you want it. I'm going to put a link to my YouTube channel where I'm keeping all of the videos. So if you wanted to go back to yesterday and listen to that or back to number 21 or whatever, or if you wanted to re-listen to one of them, I'll put that in the comments so it's easy for you to access. And then in case you're looking for a Bible... I love my life application study Bible. Mine is old and falling apart, but I love it. So I will put a link in the comments for an online store that does carry, they carry a whole bunch of different things, but they do carry life application study Bibles and they have a variety of translations um, of price points. And I think they also have large print. So anyways, I hope you have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys later.